Yo, what's up guys? Uh, been a while. Um, I'm making this video because I want to talk about um, the Jorge Masvidal, Colby Covington um, mishap uh, that happened recently. I'm sure you heard the news. It's, uh, you know, they have it in all the MMA sites, Instagram, um, Colby Covington and uh, Jorge Masvidal faced each other not too long ago and um, I covered it and, and, and uh, yeah Colby Covington was the better man that night he won the fight it was a confrontation it was a it was a match uh, that had been a while uh, in the making basically and uh, it finally happened and Covington proved to be the better MMA fighter. He dominated Jorge Masvidal with his wrestling, with his grappling, um, his superior choreo. He controlled the fight and um, pretty much uh, Jorge Masvidal just had a, a you know, a little moment, but uh, he, he couldn't do much in the fight. This, of course, is personal. And uh, according to the news, according to sources, um, Jorge Masvidal went after Covington uh, in a restaurant. Covington was stepping out of a restaurant in Miami, Florida. And um, Jorge was there, he jumped him. From all indications, he jumped him. Uh, Jorge was wearing a mask, a uh, hoodie and uh, he did manage to land two good shots, if not more, on Covington. Um, I think he broke his, he broke, uh, his tooth, Covington's tooth, and uh, he hit him in the eye, and uh, the police was involved, and uh, the police was called. Uh, Covington, according to the report, thought that he was gonna get jumped by other people that were there with uh, Jorge Masvidal. As far as I know, right now, at this moment, it was only Masvidal that, that touched him, that actually assaulted him and attacked him. Um, so I'm gonna see this from uh, from two sides, from Covington's side, I'm gonna cover this, and I'm gonna cover this from uh, Jorge Masvidal's side. Um, from uh, Colby Covington's side, um, Covington's a hell of a fighter. I'm a fan. I like the way he, uh, I like the way he fights. I like the way he, uh, you know, he he's improved so much with his striking. He's he's a hell of a fighter. I mean, he's he's done ten full rounds against Usman, and uh, he's the only one that has given really, really Usman, the current uh, welterweight champion in UFC, a run for his money. And uh, so he's a hell of a fighter, hell of a fighter. Um, but Covington does, you know, use personal attacks and the way he approaches fights, his trash talk, he does get personal. He does, he tends to get personal. He tends to, to use tactics um, that are questionable, that not, you know, we MMA fans, we're not always fond of. We understand the side of it. We under, like I understand the side of it. I understand the side of uh, of promoting uh, a fight, and I understand that there's fighters that resort to a lot of trash talk, a lot of shit talking, and um, Conor McGregor is an example. He's one of those that um, he gets personal. He attacks family members. He attacks management. Uh, back when he fought, uh, you know, uh, that famous feud he had against uh, Kabitno Margomedov, um, he got he really got personal. He went after Khabib's uh, dad, you know, and um, we all know how that ended. So, Kobe Covington. Uh, for a while now has been talking a lot of shit about uh, Jorge Masvidal's uh, ex-wife, about his kids, and uh, that is personal. Every man understands that um, that's a risk 
you're taking. I'm sure Covington understood that that was a risk he was taking because that goes beyond personal. You're attacking somebody's loved ones, attacking them not maybe physically, but verbally. You're talking shit about them. It's personal, it's, it hits you in the feels. So all's fair uh, when you're promoting that fight because eventually you get permission if you face that fighter that's talking shit about you, you get permission to get your hands on him in in the ring, and it eventually happened. Um, Jorge Masvidal had his chance. He had 25 minutes to get Covington back for all that shit that he talked. He couldn't do it. He couldn't beat uh, Covington. And Covington, uh, lo and behold, he kept talking shit. And... Uh, but Covington should have seen coming. Uh, I mean, knowing full well uh, Jorge because he's a former friend of his. Right? He knows where Jorge comes from. He used to be a, a street fighter. So he does have that street code. Um, and yeah, you know, a lot of people say, yeah, um, Jorge is a street fighter. He comes from the streets. True, he does come from the street. But he hasn't been a street fighter for years, for decades, really. Uh, let's not forget that. That said, that's inside of him. And uh, I'm sure that Covington brought it out of him because when he did not manage to beat Covington in the ring, um, Jorge's street side was there. And if he said, you know, it's on when I see you in the street because you keep talking shit about my kids, uh, Covington should have seen that coming. He should have imagined it. And um, he he let his guard down apparently a little bit and he got caught. Masvidal had that thorn on his side and, and he wasn't going to let it go. And he was true to his word. He went after him, decked him, broke his tooth. And um, those were the consequences of the shit talk that Covington has been doing for a while now. There's questions. I have questions too. I have questions as why uh, Masvidal never went after Covington for this, you know, trash talk before, before they fought. Why didn't he go street on him before, you know? Um, I'm sure he had plenty of chances when they crossed paths um, in the gym, with other former teammates and all that shit. But um, I guess, you know, when Jorge was not able to beat uh, Covington, that fire was burning him inside even more because he, he didn't manage to actually beat the guy for that, for that, all the shit talking. And uh, so, you know, those are the two sides that I see. I see that I, I, I think about why Jorge didn't make this this attempt to shut him up before they even faced each other before even there was even a match between each other is this uh, more promotion maybe for a rematch i'm not sure i, I doubt it um a lot of people saying uh you know the comments is uh you know jorge uh they, they're looking down on Jorge because Jorge did this. But come on, man. I mean, Jorge, uh, he's just being a man. When a man, you gotta, you, uh, there's, a, there's a time when you have to understand when a guy tells you, hey, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're gonna you keep talking. And you keep talking. And then you're, you're in front of reporters and you keep talking shit and you keep saying things and you keep pushing those buttons. And even, and you, you feel bold and even more bold about it because um, you actually beat that guy in the ring. But just beating him in the ring under the rules of MMA with a ref is different from beating that guy in the street. In the street, the rules are different. In the streets, you can be sucker punch. In the streets, you could be held down by some other guys while I punch you, while I get you back for talking shit about my kids, for talking shit about my ex-wife, for bringing out all those, um, all those personal issues and things that 
you shouldn't have used while you were promoting uh, um, you know a fight so you I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, Kobe Covington should accept these consequences should have seen it coming if he didn't see it coming he let his guard down and he paid for it now it's the side of Jorge uh, people saying um, well Covington's a pussy if he you know tells the cops tells Jorge you know the cops that it was Jorge and and presses charges and all this crap I mean again we go back to that word consequences Jorge should understand that there will be consequences for jumping Covington um, so I'm sure Jorge maybe he's ready to face those consequences because that's street code too if you go after a guy hey you're gonna get the satisfaction of beating the shit out of him or breaking his tooth and busting his mouth but there are possibilities that that guy is gonna press charges the law is gonna come after you you're gonna have to post bail uh, you know and you're gonna have a criminal record and and all that bullshit and and, and you you gotta pay for it so is is too there's consequences to everything and you gotta be ready for it uh, from both sides so now it's Jorge um, and then it, it, it wasn't very smart of Jorge to come and make a video where he talks about you know being from Dade and, and that's the the day way and all that and I'm from Miami day too and 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 though I understand his his point of view um, where he's coming from because I know about kids somebody talks shit about my kids yeah I'm gonna go after you too and I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna go after you you keep talking shit and I will jump you in the street that will be my reaction but I understand too that there will be consequences if I'm caught so um, there's a lot of moving parts to this and uh, we'll see where it goes but uh, I feel that maybe people are missing the point um, I don't see uh, Kobe Covington being labeled a snitch something that actually makes sense because you know if he called a if he presses charges hey you know he got jumped you know um Covington already proved that you know within the MMA rules he was the better fighter but uh, in the streets the codes are different there's there's no really honor code you can get jumped they can throw dirt on your on your uh, in your eyes um, they can kick you in the balls they can bite you and they can even uh, you know uh, stab you with a blade or even shoot you thank God things haven't gone that far and I don't think they will go that far and they shouldn't go that far because at the end of the day Kobe Covington hasn't done hasn't assaulted physically any of of uh, Jorge uh, Jorge Masvidal's kids or anything like that it's just shit talking and sometimes you gotta let it slide man you gotta let it slide especially in the MMA game both of them have been in the MMA game for a long time so it's just one of those uh, one of those things that leave me scratching my head why this is happening um, is it part of promotion no I don't think so I, I mean why are you gonna get cops involved to promote a rematch that at this point doesn't make sense anyways but those that's where we are right now you know so um, and it brings me back to it's ironic it, it brings me back to um, you know memories of, of shit talkers like uh, Shell Sonnen uh, Conor McGregor Michael Bisping um, all these fighters spoke a lot of a lot of shit about their opponents back in the day and uh, their opponents got revenge inside the ring um, Jorge Masvidal couldn't do that he couldn't get revenge inside the ring for all the shit talk that um, Covington uh, spoke you know and it's, it's just not it's it must not be easy to have this guy keep going around 
talking shit. And uh, knowing Covington, uh, he's still gonna keep going and talking shit. So there is a possibility that things could escalate even more if he keeps going because Jorge might decide to, to you know, stop this guy or just go to extremes. So who knows which of them is gonna decide to put a stop to it and just let it go already. I think Covington made an attempt uh, back in the post interviews when he was being interviewed after he fought um, Jorge Masvidal, he said that he was gonna, he was done talking about Jorge Masvidal. At that point, I thought that he was trying to already, uh, you know, um, shut down that fuse and, and just stop already with that with that fuse. But maybe, I don't know, I had not been keeping up. Maybe he kept talking and this escalated and he got jumped in the streets and uh, he should have seen it coming because Jorge told you, I'm gonna come after you, it's personal, and you shoot it, you know. Um, if you're gonna be walking around Miami, you should have uh, had people with you. Maybe you had people with you and they they, they, uh, they betrayed you or something. Anyways, those are my thoughts. And um, I just wanted to uh, give my two cents, give my thoughts. Uh, it's a weird situation. And uh, it's personal. It's, it's personal, and I think this will keep going one way or the other. It's going to be interesting to watch. Thanks, guys, for uh, listening to me. And um, keep watching me. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you can. Give me likes, dislikes, and uh, make some comments, please.